Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video here from Education Solutions and I would like to show you exactly how you can use ChatGPT in order to create your very own AI chatbot tutor. So let's have a look now at, first of all, well here's ChatGPT and I hope that you've already got an account set up. Uh, what we'll do though is we're going to use this JSON code and we're going to select everything and copy it okay and you'll bring this code and by the way I'll post a link to this code in the description down below so you'll come back here to chat GPT and you're going to paste this code right here into the prompt and I've got to give credit where credit's due this is actually from an author Jish BJJ uh, on uh, github and right now your tutor is being called Mr. Ranadier, so you can change that to, uh, let's call it Education Solutions here. All right, so we're gonna call this one Education Solutions, and we're going to send this prompt off to ChatGPT. Okay, so we'll see how this one is coming up here. It says, as an AI tutor, I greet you. Uh, I'm the Education Solutions AI Tutor. All right, so we've got right in here, it's uh, reading the JSON code, and what it's going to do is it's going to set up my, uh, my learning preference here, preferences. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I need to give this one, if we look at it, uh, if we take a look back here at the code that we've sent off, um, let's see here. I've got it set up where we've got our depth levels. Okay, so we want to set this up. Uh, a 1 out of 10 is elementary grade 1 through 6. 2 out of 10 is 7 to 9. Uh, 3 out of 10. It goes all the way to 10 out of 10 uh, PhD level. So we're going to set our depth level. You can copy these prompts right here. And let's set it up as a The correct one there we go so we got to set as a 3 out of 10 and and next up we can set up our learning style so our learning styles we'll copy that one and let's set up a how about a global learning style learning style will be global and then the communication style I want to set up as layman tone style that I want my AI tutor to be will be friendly and then my reasoning frameworks I'll set as causal okay so and by default, this is going to go on to English. Now, once we put this through, uh, I'll go ahead and set up my AI chatbot with my different depth, depth levels. Okay, so we can see it's reading it as grade 10 through 12. Global communication style layman, very good. Okay, so it's going to tailor everything to this style right here. Now, I'm going to use this one, so I want to learn more about financial literacy. Okay, so let's see what it's going to tell me. All right, so it's uh, kind of giving me a very quick prompt here. Again, this is geared towards grade 10 through 12, high school level and it's giving me an introduction here to financial literacy and once it's all done with this let me actually scroll back up here to the top to show you uh, let's see here okay so here are some of the commands that I can set so I can either I can set it up where I want it to test me okay I've already configured the the prompts here um, I can uh, have it set up a, a lesson plan for me, create a lesson plan based on my preferences. I can have it search. Uh, this actually requires a plugin. 
uh, start would be start the lesson plan, continue would be continue where I left off, and then also self-eval. So I can uh, create a self-evaluation here. So let's say that I want to do a plan. So I can set this one, and I've got my, my plan. So here's my general outline right here. And it's going to tell me, please let me know. Remember, you can use continue, uh, or we can go on to test right here. So what I want to do, in fact, though, I want to set up a forward slash plan, set up my very first lesson plan here. OK, so here's my lesson plan, uh, lesson one, the introduction here. And once I get my very first lesson plan set up, I can either continue or I can test my knowledge on that. So we're going to say, actually, we want to start. So you can start command to initiate the lesson plan. So let's go ahead and start my very first lesson. OK, so welcome to the very first lesson here. All right, so uh, I've got my, my AI tutor that's going to help me dive into the very first lesson about financial literacy. And once this is all done, the next thing that I can do is I can set up, if I go back in here, and I can find, I've already set everything. Ah, here are my commands. So I can also do a self-evaluation. Um, but I want to actually test myself. So if I were to set up my test, so let's assume that I've already gone through all of this. I've done my first. I've read through the, the very first lesson right here. So that concludes the lesson uh, one. We'll dive into the topic of budgeting and saving. If you have any questions, would you like to explore uh, more in detail, feel free to ask. So you can say, uh, if you wanted to, please explain uh, in detail how I can set up a budget effectively, uh, any number of these right here. But if I wanted to, um, let's see here, if I wanted to test, so I have forward slash, I can set up a test right here. And this would be testing my knowledge based on the very first lesson right here. OK. So I'm calculating John's net worth right here. And I've got my very first problem here that I need to solve. OK. Now remember, this is also set at a high school level 10 through 12. So take your time to solve the problems. Now if you need to set this, and maybe you need to scale it back a little bit, uh, you can also reconfigure the, uh, the target right here for, uh, for all of the content. OK, so problem one, Lisa earns a monthly income of 2500 Her monthly expenses include 800 for rent, 300 for groceries, 150 for transportation, 50 for entertainment. So calculate Lisa's monthly savings and her net worth right here. So we've got the, um, the different steps here for calculating your monthly savings as well as your, your monthly, uh, your, sorry, your monthly savings would be this. Here's, your, here's our example. So step two, assets minus liabilities equals your net worth. Okay, so um, let's see here. I could say maybe give me a hint. Okay, certainly here's a hint. So let's say it was too difficult for you to figure out. All right, so it's going to say, okay, well, we've got to calculate her savings, uh, subtract her monthly expenses minus her monthly income. Okay, so now we've got this one right here. So let's say I think it would be, let's say, $300. Okay, and we're going to send this one off and see if we got our first correct answer. Great job. Let's check your answers. Problem one. OK, so 1,200. Since the problem doesn't mention any specific assets or liabilities, all right, so now we're using Tom's right here. OK, so we can use this entire uh, setup for our, uh, our AI chatbot tutor right here. And you can tailor this to any number of subjects. OK, so um, let's say that, for instance, if I'm done testing, um, I can now come over here and I can find out some of my other prompts that are my commands, I should say. All right, so let's say that we want to do maybe a self-evaluation. Uh, or we can, 
uh, let's say that we want to um, configure this to a little bit lower level. Okay, so we can set the depth level. We can reconfigure this one, set the depth level to 1 out of 10. So I'll do forward slash depth level, and I'll do monitor. There we go. Okay. So let's see what we get here. Okay, so we can see it's set up to 1 through 6. And we're going to continue here with financial literacy. So if we do a test, now this is going to use a little bit lower level for our financial literacy test here. So it should come up here. Um, and it looks like ChatGPT is taking a little bit of time here to think about it. There we go. So let's test your knowledge on financial literacy at the elementary level, grade one through six. Okay, so we'll see what we come up with, um, but what I will do for you is I will set this up. Okay, there we go. So now we're using something a little bit easier. I'm going to set this up here where I'm going to put up Jish BJJ's uh, JSON code down below. And if you have any other questions about how you can use this for other content, uh, please do send me something in the comments down below. All right, so uh, this is something that's incredibly useful to use, and I hope that you're able to get um, a little bit of mileage out of this one as well. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.